We are two weeks past the NBA All-Star break. And listen, this NBA season is starting out with a bang. We have, you know, Russell Westbrook going to the Clippers after the buyout. Them facing the Sacramento Kings and them going in a shootout versus Sacramento Kings where De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk combined for almost 100 points. And the game going to overtime and the Kings winning 176 to 175. Then we have this the matchup between Celtics and 76ers, Joel B versus Jason Tatum and company, where it goes down the wire and Jason Tatum hits a step by three for the win. But not finished. Joel B hit a full court shot after the buzzer sounded. Then we had, you know, under the radar, Julius Randle dropping almost 50 points. And then we had the game a couple days a couple days ago where the Lakers go up against Luka and Kyrie, Dallas Mavericks. And they was down by as many as 27 points. A Lakers team led by obviously LeBron and AD, but when, with no DeAndre Russell, just Malik Beasley and Jared Vanderbilt. They come all the way back down 27 to win a game. And then we have Damian Lillard dropping 71 points on basically a G League team who just taken for a victory win beyond. The NBA is getting crazier and crazier. The second half of the season. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We're back again with another video. And I apologize by the absence. I was actually on vacation for once. I took a little vacation for a whole week. Got away from everything. Now I'm back to the grind. Now, I look at all the highlights. I saw some of the games. This NBA season is getting crazier. We are obviously starting off with the Clippers and Kings game. Probably the highest scoring game in NBA history. Definitely top three. Where the Kings escape. Because the Clippers want to give the ball to Nicholas Batum for a game winning three pointer. Out of all the shooters and stars they have on the team. Nicholas Batum. Then we have the Le Luka versus AD and company. AD did his thing, Luka did his thing, Kyrie did his thing, but he said it's going to be at least two to three weeks. Unfortunately, I believe it might be more because that's a foot injury and he's up in the age. But let's get back to the good news. Damon, I told y'all many, in many other videos, Damian Lowe is my favorite point guard in the NBA. I'm not surprised he did this. But we got to be fair and stop being hypocritical. I didn't see this much praise for Donovan Mitchell when he dropped 71 points on the Chicago Bulls team who had DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine. And they went in overtime. Now, you know why they went in overtime? Because Donovan Mitchell intentionally missed the free throw and got his own putback layup to send him to overtime. Then scored the last 15, 16 points in overtime. Obviously, that's probably more impressive than Damian Lewis. 71 points against a team there that's really tanking versus Vin for Victor Wembayala. Damian Lillard can do this in his sleep. I am not surprised at the performance he put on. But now we're going to give this, him this huge praise. He's been doing this his whole career. I've been telling everybody he needs to get off Portland. But his loyalty won't want him to get off Portland because that's what kind of dog he is. And let's get to the Knicks. The Knicks, since they picked up Josh Hart after the All-Star break, they're 6-0. They're going under the radar. Jalen Brunson should have been an All-Star. George Randall is playing better. He almost dropped 50 points the other night. RJ Barrett is playing a little better. Mitchell Robinson being that forced down low. The Knicks looking good. Boston continues to be Boston. The game-winning shot versus Philly. Joel and B and the Philadelphia 76ers, they keep losing down the stretch. They lost last night versus the Miami Heat when Jimmy Butler hit a acrobatic layup. 
And then let's get to some more bad news. Lamelo Ball fractures his ankle, ladies and gentlemen. Lord have mercy. He is going to be out for the year, obviously. And I hope for a speedy recovery for him and LeBron. I believe LeBron's going to come back. But the foot is nothing to play with. LaMelo, I believe he's going to come back next year and be the LaMelo ball he has been. But obviously, you need to put more talent around Charlotte Hornets. This is everything that's been going on in the NBA, y'all. Not only to mention, Nikola Jokic continues to put up crazy numbers. Continues to push for his third MVP in a row. But let's be honest. If Nikola Jokic wins this MVP... He better get to the finals. Because if he doesn't, he's going to be another Charles Barkley. It is what it is. And then we got the Clippers picking up Russell Westbrook. In his debut, he did pretty solid. He did have a couple turnovers, but he did pretty solid versus the Kings. But, again, the Clippers continue to be overrated. This, this analyst still saying the Clippers are going to go to the finals. How are you going to go to the finals and you giving up 176 points in a game? At least 120 points per game. Where's the defense? Wasn't y'all supposed to be a defensive team? Not a believer in the Clippers yet. We got to see how they do. And it continues with Milwaukee winning without Giannis because of Drew Holiday. Where he dropped 33 points versus the Phoenix Suns the other night. He continues to be one of the best two-way players, two-way guards in the NBA. And then, let's get to the Phoenix Suns. Kevin Durant lets Phoenix Suns still. We still haven't seen the debut of Kevin Durant. There's analysts still saying that they will make it to the finals because Kevin Durant is on the team. Has Kevin Durant ever been a leader? He has Chris Paul. He has Devin Booker. He has DeAndre Aiden. There's no excuse for this team not to make the playoffs. I mean, excuse me, not to make the finals. So we got to see how they do. We got to see how Kevin Durant is. Kevin Durant is going to continue doing his thing when he comes back. But let's see. So that's all that's going on in the NBA, y'all, in the second half of the season. It's getting crazier and crazier and crazier. There's going to be more. High power games, going to be more game winning shots, it's gonna be more overtime games. I just can't wait to see how these playoffs begin. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in these playoffs. Who y'all think is gonna win the finals? Who y'all think is gonna go all the way in the east? Who y'all think is gonna go in the west? Comment down below. And I appreciate y'all tuning in for these videos. If you're new, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new also, and I'm out, y'all.